they are saying they're communicating to you they need more external validation they need more external validation they need more proof that this is going to work for me which is one of the biggest challenges that people face when you're offering a service or a product secret number three need to run it by someone else oh i need to run this by someone else i i'm not the decision maker they are the decision maker i just want to make sure that he's okay with that because you know ultimately she's the one who decides everything in the family i just wanted to be respectful to her and of course we believe in a world of equality make sure that men and women all of all of us are equal and have respect for each other and things like that because of that give me like give me give me some time let me talk to her and i'll get back to you this is a co normal conversation and in the on the business world it could be like uh, my business partner we, we believe in trust you know we we believe in taking decisions together and things like that and because of that if i decide to do this right now and he gets mad that'll be bad that'll be heartbreaking for him i cannot do that so uh, let me talk to this partner and i'll get back to you or a similar version of this right so how do you handle this by the way you are on secret number three amazing job coming to secret number three you are one of those committed people who takes action watch this video takes action and take your business to the next level so i really really appreciate you i could see you I could see you. I could see you here. I could see your commitment and seriousness to take your business to the next level. I love, I love the fact that you are taking your business seriously. Understand that many people fail in business. You are not going to be one of them if you are committed like this to continuously learn about about how to how to grow your sales, how to increase your sales, how to double your leads and convert them and grow your business to the next level. You will be consistently growing and scaling your business. Okay, so let's get started about with the psychology. So there are people who are external focused people. So which means that they are looking for validation, validation from outside, like from other people. Like external focus people need external validation. So if you look at all over the world and websites and places, you will see a lot of testimonials. Right? Do you, have you seen a testimonial for Amazon? Amazon is like, oh, I bought this Rolex watch from Amazon. It changed my life and it helped me to see me with more clarity and more confidence and it helped me improve my self-image. You don't see that. Why? Because Amazon has credibility. They don't need testimony. They don't need social proof. Everybody knows what Amazon is, right? And I, I got Microsoft Office 11. And when I, when I initially, when I was looking into buying Microsoft Office 11, um, I was like skeptical about it. I was thinking about using Mac OS and or Linux. Linux could be really cheaper. So then after I tried Microsoft 11, you know, it changed my life. I'm able to click much. It doesn't happen because Microsoft has credibility. But in regular small businesses like you and mine, people need to see testimonial. People need to see external validation from other people. When they are saying they need to discuss somebody, they are saying, they're communicating to you, they need more external validation. They need more external validation. They need more proof that this is going to work for me, which is one of the biggest challenges that people face when you're offering a service or a product. Looks like your product is going to be good. It feels good. But how do I know it's going to work for me? I need to talk with my partner to make sure that I understand that. Cool? That's what they're doing. So external focus people, which most a lot of people in the world are external focus people, because they are externally focused, they are looking for a partner or somebody else to say, oh, that's a good decision. So this way, their wife, husband, partner, nobody's going to blame them and say, you screwed up, you took that decision, you bought that thing, another thing, you spend another $5,000, $10,000, $15,000 and screwed up our business, our business is not doing well because you spent that money. Makes sense? They don't want that to happen. That's why they are doing this. Okay. So what is the strategy? 80% of the time, avoid being in this position. How do you do that? By asking a question. When you start a sales conversation, ask them, who else need to be in this conversation in, in advance? So for example, you start the conversation, you're like, okay, you built a connection with them, you are connecting with them and talking with them and everything. You're like, hey, who else is interested in this conversation? And if they have a partner who needs to be a decision maker, if you have a wife who could be the decision maker, a husband who's a decision maker, ask them to come bring them with you, bring them with in this conversation. So if it's a Zoom goal, physical goal, whatever, and make sure that that decision making person is with them when they are in the position, when they are in this conversation with you. So at the end, they are like, I need to talk to somebody. You already are talking that both decision makers are in front of you in a physical or Zoom call. Make sense? That, that's how you try to avoid this problem. But let's say you, are, you, you couldn't do that. And even if you did at the end, they are like, oh, I need to think about it. So if that's the case, you could do something called kind of a future, future pacing. So let me explain what future pacing is. 
you could be like if she was here listening to us what would she say that you should do let's say she she was in this call with you right now and she heard all this conversation what do you think she would say that you do some tricky people will say i don't know it's hard thinking but most people would be like she would want me to do that but i still want to check with her that's another option another option is like oh, i know she would want to do this want me to do this uh, i i know she, he would want me to do this because my business partner is very supportive but i need to still talk to him understood understood i i i really appreciate the fact that you have a really nice business partner wife husband i really appreciate that let's do this let's get on a call thursday so thursday at 4 pm and let's talk with her you don't need to give her any details let me fill her in all the details and your partner in all the details let's get on a call let me summarize it for her so that she could understand what is going on and clearly move forward with this thing together and i really appreciate that you're a committed person somebody who want to discuss with their partner let's get on that call thursday at 4 o'clock discuss with her and uh, let's uh, let's go forward so how does that sound to you oh i don't know if 4 o'clock will work for her got it so let's ask her could you go ahead and text her ask her i want to get on a conversation with with uh with this friend of mine to discuss about buying this machine to improve our business and uh, what would what time will work for you and she's like okay 5 o'clock on thursday will work for me okay all of us said okay if that's the case 5 o'clock let's do this thing uh, let's do a zoom call instead of in person meeting so this way i could explain everything uh, because i'm traveling to pittsburgh that day so let's go ahead and do that and go from there makes sense that's it that's how you handle an objection of like how like my my wife my husband i need to talk with her another option is is she available right now okay is your partner available right now you're in the office let's call the partner let's talk to her right now and let's get this resolved which is the second thing third is when is she available next time so instead of suggesting a time you could be like hey when is she available next time to talk about this uh, with me and you and you don't need to give me any details i would would you please give me the honor and opportunity to debrief her because if you try to explain this product and service you might not be able to explain the way i would explain it so let me explain it to her so that she has a complete understanding about it and then after that you could make an intelligent decision as to how to move forward that's how you handle i need to talk to her i need to talk to him i need to talk to my partner objection tomorrow i'm going to talk about no but i i mean i the idea is so good i don't need to talk to anybody uh, i don't need to think about it but i don't have any budget what do i do now let's let's talk about it tomorrow see you tomorrow